Welcome all. So today we are creating a spell bee app in app lab of Podatoaji. So this is the app we are creating. So this app will increase our capacity. Panda. 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 Let's click on some. Lion. Now lion. Okay. Panda. 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 Panda
Give a good designing. Tell the app. Now next, what are we doing? Putting one image for GIF. So here we are putting GIF. That would actually have all the posts. So let's click on choose and upload certain image. So this image 3D. Then, so after putting this code, I mean this time, then we have to put one label. We can duplicate this one itself and put here points. So here point is equal to one right now. And then you can decrease the font size. Then we have to put one more image. Here, this will show all the animals. Here, then we have to put one text input, and you can actually here give one theme, good theme. Or even other this is fine according to me and here for point I am doing the border radius as zero which I don't want Well, it can be let take it left only. Then, what next we have to do? So, here for label, we can change the border color as little different. Okay, so here we are putting one text input and we have placeholder. We will write enter only let's make this. Blank. Then one button of that is some. Well, I don't like this theme much. I didn't like it. This is also not good. This is fine. This nice. So then here we will write submit. We can increase the size. Okay, so after putting this, we have designed a screen. Let's go to code. So here we are creating one variable, which is number variable number. Then let's go to show block. Then we are creating variable. Time blue. Time blue of hydrogen. That is. So here in this time blue, we are defining the number. That number is equal to number is equal to actually. Random number from 1 to 10. Why random number from 1 to 10? I will tell you. So when I go to design, 
and images. Let's first upload all these images. So here we have actually 10 images, right? 10 images. That is why we are writing all images. So animal 1, then animal 2. Animal 3, upload all these zips. Animal 4, then Animal 1, Animal 2, Animal 7, Animal 8 Animal 9 And then Animal 10 So all images are uploaded Now we can go back to 4 And here we were doing that This is equal to Number is actually equal to Random number from 1 to 10 Because the images are animal 1, animal 2, animal 3 and like this animal 10. So we, are, we want that here it should, in this image it should come all the random images. So that is what we are trying to make the code. Then we are doing that check the image URL of the ID that is this ID. Image to this ID as. So here we are adding one match statement that is plus and inside this plus we are adding one more plus. So let's write it. So here in here in this we are writing animal plus number the variable which we declare animal plus number plus dot gif that is well i'm sorry here we have to write under this dot gif so here what i'll be trying to do let me explain this to you that we are creating one variable time loop that after every five seconds the image url it should change after every five seconds the Image URL should change to a random image which is this variable number which we created that is random number from 1 to 10. So here we are doing a set the image URL of image number 2 which is this as animal and its number is random. So it will come any image plus dot gif because the ending point of that is dot gif that is why otherwise it will give us an n. Let's do the remaining part now. So now we are creating one more variable that is variable points. So let's create variable points which is equal to 0. Right? Now let's create one more variable under one statement that is on event when this submit button. Button number 1 is saved. Then what's going to happen when this button number 1 is clicked, then it's going to first let's create a variable named as input. Variable input is get text from text input 1. Okay. Then we are creating one variable that is variable input lower case. So now what are we doing here is we want that whatever text we get from this text input 1 should be converted to lower case. Suppose what if the user typed with 
capital letter it should be tap it should be lower the alphabet should be lower so that that is what we are doing here. so we are creating a variable input lower case is equal to input here what am i are writing here input input means this variable what is get text should dot lower Here we did one mistake where it should be 2. Now we will go to show text. Yes, now it's showing for it that time it was taking that it was a function, but it is already a predefined function. Next. So before going next, I hope you understood what are these two variables we have created. The first variable is get text from the variable input we are creating that it should be get text from this input that is text input one and variable input lowercase is exact what that whatever input it gets from this get text it should be lower. Now let's add some if statements. If else statement. Well, right now we can remove this block and go to show text and write the all the text. So let's write if if then one match statement here where if that the number is equal to 1 and and this input dot sorry it's right input lower case is equal to Elephant. If it's equal to elephant, because here when we go to design, the first animal is the first animal is elephant. So if suppose it's equal to elephant, then what's going to happen? Then the points will increase. The so points is equal to points plus one. All right. So this is done. So if it's not happening, then else statement. So then else if so else if then here we put two brackets else if one more statement number is equal to 2 and input lower case. What is this input lower case? This is this variable which we created. Input lower case is equal to now let's check what's left. Animal number 2. Animal number 2 is Tiger and third is monkey. Okay. So if it's equal to tiger, then points is equal to points plus one. Okay. Now we will copy the same thing. And paste it. Well, not here. 
so now let's paste yeah now it's correct so then else if number is equal to 3 and input to is equal to monkey then points is equal to oh, nothing you will the copy we just right now we will paste it seven more times so now we don't need this but copy it before it so how many times it one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10. So now let's do 3 so equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So delete this last one. So now let's do for the rest. So now the fourth animal is panda. The fifth animal. So make sure you don't do any spelling mistake here because you are creating a spell here and you itself you are doing spelling mistake in the codes. That's not good. So make sure you are writing the correct spellings. Now it's giraffe. Then the sixth animal is cat. The seventh animal is dog. Now the rest animal is pangaloo, lion. No, no, the ninth animal is Kangaru, Camel, and then the tenth animal is Lion. All done so well. Now let's do, let's go to Soap Log. And do that. Set the text of Lady to as. Set text of label to as points plus after this, okay, points the variable which we create. So, with this, our app is done. Let's test it. So, let's click on run. You can wait for a few seconds if it's loading. Add um wait. Let's also do that. Set the text of text input one as long. Go to shoot it. Here we need to do some changes. I mean, not changes, we haven't done some main things. So then we will do that. Set. Image URL of image to add, I mean, image one as C 
सीधी द रेल ऑल्सो प्ले साउंड so here we are doing adding one match plus statement and here and have one more plus statement so here we are writing animal plus number which the variable we created plus dot and the three so now where we we have to write one more thing here under this statement we will add one else statement also okay so else if the it is not equal then the point should be decreased else the points is equal to points minus 1 Okay, so and we will we will add one step. Play sound. So let's add here play sound. That is. Search here for app interface click to the first one. Then I don't think anything else is left now. Oh, and gee, we did a mistake. it should be here image 1 set image of image 1 as cd and set image of image 2 as the animal let's run our app to check so let's run so wait for 5 seconds yes now it's tiger oh god so now the next animal which is which is this kangaroo oh no oh no 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 we did a mistake we wrote there oh no set text of label to as font i don't know why did this mistake come me wait for 5 seconds Kangaroo. Oh no, spelling was wrong. What is this? Um, no, no. Panda. No, no. This is monkey. Oh God. Um, this is panda. Now it's fine. I am speeding up. Yes, I am speeding up. No, no, no. Then camel. Yes. What is this giraffe? Oh no. Then we have dog. Oh no. So this is the app which we have created today. This was really a fun app, and you can challenge this app to your friends. Spell B. Those who are weak in spellings, or those who want to have a good practice in spellings. And as I have said, you now you know how to create this app. So now it's your time. It's your chance to add more images, to add more such 
add more animals or you can add objects and it's all upon your creativity.